side. So I finished the big steep pull up onto the uh, cliffs up here. I'm at the top now, looking at this fabulous view. Um, I'm over in Munnithdi, Kamarthan Van, you might know it as, the Black Mountain. And I've uh, been here before, of course, if you look back in the back catalogue, you'll see a couple more times I've been here. Let me show you the view. So I'm sat on these cliffs. This is Banisagar. And some people coming as you go around. That's the escarpment of Munas D, the northern escarpment. The first promontory you can see is Picus D with a Bronze Age burial cairn on. And then the far one is Van Heer. And then, oh, look at this, Camarthenshire, all over here. Pretty special. Anyway, I'm going a bit farther west to a hill I'm hoping no one else knows about or has been on for some time and certainly not tonight. So that's where I'm heading, over this sort of pathless cotton grass field to that near hill there. I think I, think I can see the trig point on top of it. It's been heavily uh, mined or quarried for limestone. I come round a bit to here, there's the hill there with the two lumps on top, if you can see them. That's Garrig Lass, and it's just a long pass there where I've camped before. So, let's get over there. I've got to stop and get some water on the way, so I'm not going directly there. I'm going a bit sort of off to the left, where there's a stream on the map, but we'll see. Doing my usual thing of uh, following sheep trods and all that sort of stuff. Ugh. Straight into a bog. So I finally organised. <laughs> don't know what happened really, I just got a bit disorganised. I had to like sit back, chill for a bit and then get it done properly. So I'm, as I said, I'm on Karag Urogov and just over here is uh, Garrig Lass, the other end of which I camped on before. I'll just show you. I don't know if you can see that huge cairn on the top. Apparently there were 16 burials in that thing and then there's another one just the other side with loads more. So it's not a bad view. I'll, uh, I'll take you around there's sunshine or blue sky over there it's all getting a bit cloudy as we come around to where the sun's about to go down. I'll get the kettle on in a minute have a brew because I could do with one. Just nip back up to the uh, trig point, which is just almost, what, 30 yards, maybe. There's lots and lots of places you can pitch, but none of them are actually like properly flat, except where the, uh, the rocks are. And, oh wow. So looking over that way, that's, that's west now. That's the far end of the Brecon Beacons National Park. I'm trying to remember what it is in Welsh. Park Cenedlaethol Banai Brecheniog, I think. <laughs> the Brecon Beacons Way comes over all those hills. And as I said, over Garig Lass, over this one. And then it goes down, down there down there to Hlandoysant. I guess it was set up for youth hosteling when it first ooh, got the sun behind me, sorry. 
<laughs> youth hosteling when it was first set up. And there's a youth hostel down in Clandoisant. So it comes down there and it goes all the way down here to Landoisant. Then it goes along the road to where I parked the car. And it comes all the way back up, up to Banasagaya right there. So I'm going to walk the Brecon Beacons way and I'm thinking, let's be honest, that's a bit dumb. Because I'm not going to go to the youth hostel, am I? So I don't see the point in walking all the way down into that valley down there and then walking back up over here. So I, I might just skip across that bit, whether I'll put that skip across in the uh, <laughs> in the film I make. Lord knows. Let me just show you some of this quarrying while I'm while I'm here. It's like terraces all up and down the hill. So there's this that's the highest one. And then I'm standing on one here. And they go on and on both sides of the hill. Limestone quarrying. I don't know when it closed. But uh, they certainly took a lot of stone out of here, if you, uh, if you look. So coming into the golden air now, getting that slanting sun. Lights everything up. Ooh, let's get up here. So anyway, I'm going to put the kettle on. And, uh, yeah, have a brew. People ask me why I do this. This is why. So here's my setup. You can see, I saw, saw this on someone's YouTube. We've put a bit of cord around the, the top of the tent here with a carabine and it hung my uh, rucksack on it. Pretty cool. I'm going to put a porch up here in a bit. Around this side, I saw this as well. I think this is a guy called an Irish guy rambling on who does this. I got other people. So you tie it to the, the tie end at the back and bring it around here. And that gives you a bit of shelter both ways from the wind. I'm just trying it out. I don't know if that's what I want to do. Got all my cooking stuff down here food, cooker, water, my bags out. <laughs> The yeah, Outkit Sky High 500 uh, Nemo tents are insulated and uh, Flex Day or Gear pillow. Hmm, nice. Listen. Nothing. Hardly a breeze. The odd sheep, that's it. And tonight's delight is Ministry of Beef, Meatballs and Pasta. My new filtered water. There's the moon and there's our sunset. It's not bad, let's be honest. I've seen better, but let's be honest, we've seen a lot worse, haven't we? The last two camps in the clag. So I've had my dinner. <coughs> I think I might go and put my leggings on. My legs are getting cold now. Ah, so chilled, so chilled. Just lovely. Just beautiful. Sadly, I counted the sheep that I could see, and I got to over 80. And they're moving this way, so, <clears throat> do you know? Have you heard Pink Floyd's album, Animals? Be warned, Roger, be warned. Right, back to the tent, kettle on again, clean up, relax. And the brew. I'm going to get change ready for bed. I've been trying to take pictures of the moon. I think I might have got one. 
I'll put it up. It uh, looks a lot darker than it like, really is, but not too bad, I don't think. So there's going to be no stars. And I will definitely need the eye mask that I brought, or I won't get to sleep at all. Right, I am going to finish my brew. <laughs> A couple of books, so and I think I'll listen to a podcast. Then I'll get my head down and I'll talk to you in the morning. Fade, <laughs> fade to black. Morning, you can see I'm up and out of bed. <laughs> I've got a feeling that I'm in an inversion. I'm not sure. If you look down here, you can see a lot. The sun's up. I did get up for sunrise, which is about half an hour ago. Uh, maybe a bit less than that, maybe more like 20 minutes ago. And it was clagged in. As you can see, then about five minutes ago it was all clear. And it looked like there was an inversion, So, but by the time I got up, I'm back in it. So I'm not sure what to make of it really. So I can see blue sky above me, just about. I think I'm on top of the cloud almost. Time for a Muller Corner. Never had one of these before. Let's see what they're like. I see an advert on telly for these where you're supposed to lick. Ooh, look at that. Sorry about that vision, folks. I just sat in uh, in the tent having my coffee. The sun came out. It's a bit weird. I think there's probably cloud down in the over the escarpment there. You can see it's coming up and then spilling down in. Unfortunately, actually, when the sun came up, it was uh, I was clagged all over. Yeah, you can see it's gone again now. <laughs> got all excited. I thought I was going to see something really good, but never mind. It's a really heavy dew today. Right. Yeah, you see there's little bits of inversion down right in the bottoms. Pretty cold, to be honest. So I'll, I'm going to get back in the tent. I think I'm going to have one more coffee, then I'll start packing up. Ah. Leave it for a bit, see if the tent will dry off a little bit. I do have a towel with me to wipe it down. Maybe I'll do that and then that'll uh, help because it's absolutely sodden. Right, back in the tent. Okay, all packed up, ready to go. Just checking I got everything. <laughs> so this is where I was, as you can see, leaving no trace, as always, as it should be. And uh, right, time to wander on. Yeah, which way shall I go? That way.
I hit the nose on the escarpment. Now, that was quite a pull up there, I've got to be honest. And I worked out where I missed the path now. I had it in my head that it went from that cairn over there, but it doesn't go from here. So, Lynn van Vach again. Top still in the murk. And Valley, fairly murky as well. I think I'll wrap it up here with this view behind me. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.